Hey everyone, welcome back to the Trouble Clef Project. Today I'm going to be talking about and explaining what solfege is and the hand signs that go with it. If you've ever heard this song, Go! A deer, a female deer, Ray, a drop of golden sun, then I'm sure you'll be familiar with what I'll be talking about today. So what is solfege? Solfege is basically a system used to name pitches. Understanding solfege is key to be able to recognize pitches and train your ear to hear patterns in music. Solfege basically works by assigning a syllable to each note of the musical scale. So rather than naming, uh, let's say, a C major scale by C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, you could name it as Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. This is really helpful when you're reading music theory because syllables are much easier to sing and help you remember the notes than when you're just singing a letter. And the best part about solfege is that it works for any scale or key and not just a major scale. So now I'm going to teach you how to sing solfege. Okay, so let's start in the C major scale with Do. One, two, three, four. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. So as you see, I have transitioned from a middle Do, middle C, to a higher C. Now let's go back down. One, two, three, four. Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Now let's put it together and go all the way through. One, two, three, four. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. So now that you got all the basics, now we're going to learn the hand signs. Follow along. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. So hopefully with a little bit of practice, you can put it all together. So we're going to start off slow. One, two, three, four. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. So now let's go a little faster. One, two, three, four. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. In a fixed system, Do is usually always C and Re, D, and et cetera, et cetera. Solfege is really helpful for, you know, auditions and if you're in choir, when you have to read music and be able to sight sing, music theory. The, the main purpose of it really is just to, um, you know, understanding you should be able to read a measure and then hum and sing that measure out loud. Solfege is a pretty simple concept, but it gets tricky when you need to shift from like a do to a fa. You know, those big shifts, it gets hard to um, remember exactly what note because they don't stand next to each other on a scale. So understanding solfege can help you make those shifts, make those transitions effectively and be able to get the pitch, the right pitches as well. And that's really the key to understanding music. You need to be able to read it, be able to recognize the notes and the pitches and be able to, you know, sing those out loud. And it's really just all about practice. The more you practice um, reading, you know, sight singing, reading music theory, um, the faster you'll get it. That's all for the video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something and we'll see you next time. Bye.